uh, so I realize I have just a, a handful of stations here, reporting stations, but this then would extend west to Glen St. Mary and Lake City, to Fargo, to Waycross, to Nahanna, and Folkestone, and Brunswick, and St. Mary's, and, and nearby areas would be experiencing similar winds. Look at that wind gust to 60 at Fernandina Beach. By 6 to 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, it's still breezy, but the worst of the storm will have moved through. And we're seeing these little individual cells of thunderstorms that will be developing, too, as the hurricane heads into Georgia. And these will be able to produce some tornadoes. Look at that at 10 o'clock in the morning. Numerous thunderstorms and heavy showers moving through. There'll be breaks, and the sun might even come out for a brief period. And then there'll be another heavy band of rain and storms all the way to tomorrow evening before those storms finally start to head on off to the east northeast for the start of your holiday weekend. But Saturday in the afternoon, still be some scattered heavy storms that develop. But of course, we won't have to worry about the tropics at that point. Speaking of which, the boating forecast boats should stay in port during this storm and swimmers, surfers should stay out of the water. There's going to be a lot of water coming down from the sky over the next 24 hours and tomorrow. And that's what Aaron Klein here. Yeah, we already saw some of that heavy rainfall move through the area, and we do have more bands on the way. Here's a look at one of our computer models with the highest resolution. As we continue to head through the evening hours and overnight, you can see more of that bright red color, those heavy rain.